What's up, peeps? Thanks for joining me. My name's Damon Warren. Today's adventure, we are in Williamsport, PA. I don't know what Williamsport was famous for before, but I can tell you what they're famous for now. They are famous for Little League Baseball. They literally have like all kinds of baseball stuff around the city. This is a classic city. The hotel I'm staying in is over 100 years old. Even the elevators was like 1962, I think they said. So every place you look is like a classic monument, old buildings. So it's just a lot of history. They got this one area called Millionaire's Row, which is like all these old classic houses. I went to this one place called Back Room. Back Room Tea, it's like you can get your tea and just like settle into the whole time period, right? They even, when they have the had the Little League Baseball World Series here, there's a parade that goes down the main street. So I want to ride around the streets here, show you some of these views. Thanks for subscribing. I really appreciate all y'all. Sit back, relax, and let's check it out. Checking out this uh, farmer's market. And then we'll be checking out the uh, they call it Millionaire's Row or something. I'm staying in this hotel, it's like 100 years old. It's that hotel over there. It's the Getty or something like that. I forgot how you actually pronounce it. But this is Williamsport. This is the little farmer's market they got going on right here. Definitely some fresh produce. Let's take a walk, see what we can see. That's right there. Yeah, it's hot. Yes, yes, it's hot. Yes, it's hot. Yes, it's hot. Yes, it's hot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll give it a try. It's the kombucha. All right. The magical elixir. There we go. Oh, look at that. You got a... What's it? 24 hours in the jug. All right. Which one do you suggest I try? Uh, I'm thinking the grape fruit looks really good. But, uh, strawberry and pineapple is a really tasty one. Pineapple cherries one are the most popular here. We did not have raspberry. Blueberry ginger is the good sense. Oh, it's a blueberry ginger. This one's blueberry ginger. I don't have it out yet. There's no label on this one. Okay, I got stuck this week, but it's real similar to the ginger berry. Just just the ginger. It's more to blueberry. Strawberry and blueberry. I can help you guys. You know what? I'll give the blueberry ginger. Yeah, I'll give it a try. Wait, you have to see it. It's one by top of it. It's a terrible sandwich. You know, get some more of that. I'll try to see if it's a It comes off my bottle. It has a heat sump. It goes to that front and it will make some more of the rain. Some of this stuff here. The bacteria. It's a little bit of stuff in there. It was right. just strained yesterday, but that's yeah, coming back together. Yeah. So that means it's fine. So when you store it, you need to store it in the cold. You want to keep it cold. Yeah. Keep it cold. It won't go bad, but if it's out, it'll ferment rapidly. You'll see that stoking we call it or a marker on top. Uh -huh. yeah. Real quick, you never get up. I didn't know what to do. Okay. So you want it to be tasty and taste good like that, there you want to keep it. Okay. So the benefits and everything. All right, so we got some fresh kombucha. You want to try that out? There's a seafood place over that way. I might try them out. I like to see what kind of fresh seafood they get around here. This is right off the Susquehanna. So, you're getting a lot of fresh water. A lot of mountain air, as you can see. I don't know how, hopefully this is getting it. There's the hotel. It's the... I don't know, Janetti or whatever. That's where all the towers are right there. Should be getting a really good uh, view right here. Oh man, look at that fresh pickled stuff. Something smells good around here. Yeah, we saw the mask. Uh, 
talk about the or, or like some of that good old hula hula. iced tea selection. Yeah, yeah. Not only can you get iced tea, but you can get iced tea. They got fairy wands. Look at some fairy wands. Iced tea and fairy wands. It's a magical place. Yeah, she Hey, how are you? How's it going? How are you? What's your picture? Huh? little seating areas over there. Is it that you pick it and then they cook it? Oh. I want a whole chicken. What's that hat? Oh, so the grill is for that part over there. No. Bonsai! Hey there. Hello. Oh, well, these are nice. Thank you. You grow them all yourself? I do. Yep, wow. I grow my own trees. Yep. Wow. No, but it protects you from. Watch your feet. It's awesome. I'm still trying. Oh, look. These are all carnivorous plants. Yes. I was just thinking about a Venus flytrap too. Yeah, also, sure, yeah, I've got a couple of those left. They're five. Yeah. Five? Yep. Yeah. Oh yes. So I found out a lot about the uh, Venus flytraps. They're uh, seasonal kind of thing, so they need to be exposed to the weather. That's awesome. And we got some local soaps here, fresh-made soaps. Rose Valley Naturals. Oh, that beats. <laughs> Tomatoes. I think tomatoes are in season right now. How we doing? Oh, there were crepes. I missed the crepes. Oh man, how much are the crepes? I enjoyed. Hello. How much are the crepes? Um, savory or eight? The sweet or seven? Okay. Ooh, mascarpone. Ooh. Okay. Thanks. Stop whining. Y'all are critters. Or one you will. That's a shame. I would have came over here for. No, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have came over here for peppers. Anyway, let's keep going. What we else we got? Still, it hurts probably why. It looks like some kind of wine. Sour cherries. Yes. So I like this one. Okay. I've never had a sour cherry before. Just tick one in the list. Yep. There's a pit in them. There's a pit. All right. So we're going to go for a sour cherry here. You know what? I have had them before. Yeah. Well, the taste, but the skin texture is really kind of interesting. So, may, may I have them in pie or a crisp or something? Or? Something. I might have just picked it when I was out in the wilderness. Somebody was like, here, eat this. Who knows? That is pretty good. Ooh. And you got the, the, the plums. Mm -hmm. Are those different flavor than these plums or are they just... Yeah, these are a little sweeter. Oh, really? And these are a little uh, sweet flesh with a little tartiness around the skin of the seed. Ooh. Mm. 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 Like that. Right. I'm going to get some of those puns. You said they're sweeter. Sweeter than the normal ones. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm going to continue my, my journey. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Hey, we got some local flowers here. Oh, that's a nice little bouquet. I don't know what's good. Oh, I told you. Nice fresh ones. All right. So that's a pretty cool market. They go from 8 to 12 on every Saturday. I think they do it year round, so that's awesome. Up here in Williamsport at Black House. Black House Cafe. Coffee and tea. So I took a little tea break. This is the area they call Millionaire's Row. There's like a lot of old, uh, very nice classic houses on the street. Uh, it's a major through fair. It's 
really old church. I did some video of that. So I'm just sitting here chilling. I'm gonna go inside this place because it, it so it used to be a museum, bed and breakfast. Now it's a uh, tea shop. So I'm gonna walk around, take a look in there. They close at two o'clock on Saturdays. Saturdays they're eight a.m. to two. It's about 1:30 right now. So we're gonna shoot some footage outside. Look at that. Very nice and tranquil out here. This is a. This is the mood I'm in right these days. So we got some nice foliage out here. Now, in case you need assistance, they do have an elevator for assistance. I like that. They take cash and uh, electronics. All right, so. Check out the old doorknob. Chris, but he be quick to come in. I'm right, I want you to add the new door. That is the block. If you go through it, the block, shark on the each one. This block. Maybe two to tell me to top and we have to walk out. Alright, so here we go. This is the back room. Oh, look at this. This is just so classic in here. Makes me want to play some, uh, oh, wow. We were staying built, so we had a little bus. I think I've seen this one. I think it's called Purgatory or something like that. I don't know. It is a classic picture right there. Open this up for you again. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, wow. So I would say if you come to Williamsport and you want the full Millionaire's Row experience, you got to come here and just check them out. Get yourself a nice cup of tea or coffee and sit for a spell. Really relax. Is this the servant's bell? Yes, it is. Hey, look, and see, that is a servant's bell, and it's actually working. It just rang. It was just me. <laughs> I, I was surprised it still worked. In loads of the first floor, got more up. Yeah. Wow. These are the original light switches. So. Those are light switches. I remember my aunt down south, she had those. And they were switched over from the old gas lighting. So in the older homes, you will actually see thicker stems because where the wires were, that's the way they actually ran the gas to the lights. And that is how the Rockefellers made their money, off of gas. All right. And this is like the kitchen area. They got the original kitchen back in that way. And this is where you get your good drinks at and stuff. Good place. Look at that molding. Wow. And I was gonna say, well, I just finished that and they stretched the dot vibration. So I had this little one. And they rolled me up. So that is the back house. Here's a little look at the. Uh, so original glass work right there. Um, oh goodness, I want to say pewter, but it's probably not pewter. Look at the way the, the glass is beveled. This is beveled glass right here inside. It's nice. It's the original. Wow, this is the original door. Original. Oh my goodness. And then look, look at this work right here. I can. Let's slam. Oh, look, it's a split door. Oh. So that's why this lock is here. So th this lock, you can unlock the, the top. I forget what they call this kind of door, but you can open up just half of it. And this is the original foyer. Really nice place. 
Really, really nice place. I enjoyed myself there. This church right here was pretty awesome. I did a little video, shot some pictures of it. Look at that church. It's all up there. The other way on Millionaire's Row. The thing about Millionaire's Row it's not the size, it's the attention to detail to get you. I mean, these houses are... I mean, the, even the tea house was just kept in a nice state, right? <laughs> I've been called a lot of stuff. I ain't never been called Mr. Joe. <laughs> and that must have been some kind of art hotel or something. The main uh, thing right there. Let's go across the street here. Yes, we are going down a one way street the other way. But that's what we do. St. Joseph's right there. Look at that house. That looks like the original curtains. That's a sweet house right there. videos like this I don't really need to go but so fast all right although the first question is usually how fast you would be like I'm gonna go fast <laughs> hey
don't know what grid is, but that looks kind of cool. How about this for a club? Cell block. Yeah, it looks like an old prison. Which it is. Look at that. I say there's no time like the present. I've seen other people say that also. Alvin Alley, Alvin Haley, Masters of Illusion. Ooh.
Thank you.